Well, at 6.37, it's time to look at everything happening in the entertainment world. Marcus Allen, I know you're joining us live to talk a little entertainment and show us what's going on behind the scenes as well. Yeah, the Aerospace Museum Cafe is open. It's awesome. We'll talk about that in a moment. In the meantime, entertainment news, which today, again, starts off sad. One of my favorite comics, a guy I've had the pleasure of introducing and interviewing through the years, has passed. Take a look. Longtime writer, actor, and comic Paul Mooney has died. Mooney wrote his own comedy, but also spent decades working with the legendary Richard Pryor. I've known him for a long time. <laughs> Uh, when the, I met him, the first thing I noticed, uh, he was very bright, two shades lighter than me. Mooney wasn't as widely known as Pryor, but his comedy was loved worldwide. Later generations of black comics gravitated to him. In the late 80s, he opened for Eddie Murphy on his Raw tour, and Dave Chappelle hired him to write for and guest star on the hilarious Chappelle show. Mooney's publicist said he died of a heart attack yesterday morning at his home in Oakland. He was 79. Former Grey's Anatomy star Sarah Ramirez will be a series regular on the HBO revival of Sex in the City. Ramirez will play a comedian Che Diaz, a non-binary stand-up comedian who hosts a podcast on which Carrie Bradshaw is regularly featured. Ramirez herself is non-binary. And audiences are getting their first look at the new Aretha Franklin biopic, Respect, starring Jennifer Hudson. The film, which wrapped shooting before the pandemic locked down last spring, scheduled to premiere in theaters August 13th. Uh, I can't wait for you to see it. Jennifer Hudson told me playing that part is a dream come true. Oh, I'm sorry, there's something on the lens right now. Let me reach down and grab that. There was a bagel near my booster. Aerospace, uh, Aerospace Cafe, come check it out. I was choking on bagel, is talking about bagel. Back to you. You always surprise us each and every morning. Thank you so much, Marcus Allen, for the smile.